All right. The final topic in section 1.2 is the idea of parallel and perpendicular lines. So, with parallel lines, those are just two lines that never intersect. With perpendicular lines, that's a pair of lines that intersect in a right angle. That's the geometric meaning. But what does it mean for two lines that look like this? What does it mean for them to be parallel? What does it mean for them to be perpendicular? Well, it really has nothing to do with the y-intercept. It doesn't have anything to do with b. The two lines, what determines whether they're parallel or perpendicular, has everything to do with their slopes. So, for two parallel lines, their slopes are going to be the same. Perpendicular lines, however, this is a bit more complicated. Perpendicular lines, their slopes are opposite reciprocals. Now that's a mouthful. So if the slope of one line is, say, three-fourths, the slope of its perpendicular line, or one of its perpendicular lines, the opposite tells me to change the sign. The reciprocal tells me to flip the fraction. So, let's take a look at one example. Parallel is really quite simple, but perpendicular, let's take a look at a perpendicular example. So, I'm on page 75, and I'm looking at problem 60. We want to find the line with the following properties. One, it should be perpendicular. It's kind of the symbol, if you remember from geometry, the symbol for perpendicular. We want our line to be perpendicular to minus 2x plus y equals 14. The other thing we want our line to do is we want our line to pass through the point 0, 0, better known as the origin. So we're trying to find the equation of the line with these two properties. So as usual in this section, our goal, our answer, is going to look something like this. Some y equals mx plus b. Our task is just to find out the particular values of m and b that give us these properties. So. Let's start off and find m. Well, unlike before, we only have one point. We don't have two points, so we can take the change in y divided by the change in x. We can't do that in this case, because we need two points, and we've only got one. Our slope is going to have to be found by 
looking at the perpendicular line. To find the slope of our line, let's find the slope of this line, minus 2x plus y equals 14. Well, we want to write it in this form. So we want to get y by itself, which means we're going to be adding 2x to both sides. And if I add 2x, I get y by itself, so y equals 2x plus 14. And now we know the slope of this line. The slope of this line is 2, or since we're going to need this to be in a fraction, 2 over 1, because we can always put anything over 1. Dividing by 1 never changes anything. So our slope Since perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocals, we change the sign of this from positive to negative, and the reciprocal tells us to flip the fraction. So one on top, two on bottom. So for us, m is minus one half. And now we've got the slope. And now it's back to normal because we have a slope and a point. So to find B, we can use the point 0, 0. So plugging in 0 for Y and 0 for X, we can find B since we know M is supposed to be minus 1 half. Well, this is quite simple here. 0 equals 0 plus b, which means 0 equals b, or b equals 0. So our line, the line that is perpendicular to minus 2x plus y is 14, and which passes through the origin, is simply the line minus one-half x plus zero, but adding zero never changes anything. So we can just write our answer in the following way, like that. Or, if you were clever, you noted that this was the y-intercept, so you never had to go through any of this. The problem told us that B would be zero. So you could have used that right away and skipped over all this stuff.